Hey guys, the so dude two. Uh, welcome back to uh, the Duda 2's Go channel. Uh, today I have in front of me, we'll go this way, some classics from the Go world. Um, these are the elementary Go series books. There are six of them. Um, there's um, Opening, Joseki, Tsuji, and then there's Life and Death, Attack and Defense, and then there's Handicap Go. So uh, actually, there's an end game, and then there's Handicap Go. So actually, let's see, one, two, three. Six. Okay, so this would be end game after Tsuji, Attack and Defense, and then Handicap Go, and opening would be before. So there are five of these. I got my hands on three of these. Um, these are books that have been around since the 70s. I believe uh, 72 or 73 for the opening. Uh, 73 for this Joseki book. Um, maybe they all came out the same year. Yeah, this is copyright 1975. This one is copyright, um, let's see, 1980. So um, a couple years between each of these books, but um, this is actually, these books are actually the sixth reprinting to let you know how popular they are. And the sixth reprinting took place in 1993, 1998. Um, and I believe they were, yeah, printed in Korea. So um, interesting. Basically each book focuses on one specific aspect of Go. Um, for instance, uh, 38 Basic Joseki. Uh, it's exactly what the title says. Um, the book goes over 38 different Joseki. And to give you an example, um, the book uh, is divided among the different Joseki points. So you'll learn um, the 3-3 three, three point, the 3-4 point, the 4-4 four, four point, the 3-5 um, point, and the 4-5 point. And um, you'll learn them here. So the first chapter, chapter one, would be 3-3. Three, three. And then chapter two, you would learn these. And then you would just keep going. And you would just learn uh, Joseki. Now, many people are very critical of these older books because they would say that the Joseki themselves are outdated or that, uh, um, you know, just because the book's like 40, 50 years old, um, you know, the opening strategy might be a little outdated or slow. And uh, I think people are, are, this is my personal opinion, maybe I'll change my mind as I get a little uh, stronger, but it's my personal opinion that this stuff doesn't grow old. Uh, it may be, the moves may be slow, or they may lead to uh, slightly inferior variations of like a point or a half a point, but unless you're a professional, none of that stuff's gonna matter, right? Um, some of the, like, uh, I was watching uh, some online uh, commentary uh, by these uh, younger kids who, you know, are strong Don level Go players, and they're watching the game, and they're saying, oh, that's that's an old variation, that's, you, you know, you wouldn't see that nowadays, and stuff like that. And then um, there was a stronger Go player uh, doing the commentary, too, and he said, it's still perfectly playable. And they're all like, oh, well, it's old. You know, it's in the old 38 Basic Joseki book. And the stronger player said, look, you know, it's still it's still a good move. It's still a good Joseki. It, it may be old, but a lot of times um, you'll see professionals stop playing certain moves. And then most people just assume that they're bad moves now or something. But um, the... Uh, Joseki may come back like 10, 15 years later. It's happened before, and people, ever, it's new. It's the rage now. You know, everybody's like, "Oh, the professionals are are playing it now, so you know it must be good again." Uh, the Shusaku Diagonal has been played continuously since the 1800s. You mean to tell me that it's not considered slow? It is considered slow, but guess what? People still play it. Um, so. Uh, I don't believe these books are outdated. Uh, I mean, they may be outdated, but I still believe you could learn a lot from these books, and I think most people would agree with me. Uh, if you don't, feel free to throw some comments out, you know, down on the uh, 
you know, the comment section or whatever. But uh, onto the books. First of all, they're written by Kiyoshi Kosugi and James Davies. James Davies is another very famous uh, person uh, with the American Goat Association. Uh, he, he does a lot of work, a lot of translating. Uh, he's, he's been uh, promoting Go in America for a long, long time. Um, the books are good quality. They're made of, uh, you know, it's not none of the newer acid proof stuff or whatever, but it's, uh, it's a good quality book. Um, yeah, Elementary Go. In the beginning, Basic Joseki, Tsuji, Life and Death, Attack and Defense, End Game, Handicap Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Holy moly, I was wrong. There are seven of these Elementary Go series volumes. Uh, so it wasn't just six. So I, I was wrong in my number. Um, there's in the beginning, 38 Basic Joseki, Tsuji, Life and Death, Attack and Defense, The End Game, and Handicap Go. So hopefully, um, the reason um, I thought there were six was because for the longest time this Handicap Go, a lot of places don't mention this uh, Handicap Go book because it's not written by James Davies, it's Richard Bosselich. So um, they kind of continue the series I believe quite a bit later too. So um, again, very interesting. The books themselves, uh, almost 250 pages. You wouldn't think there'd be so many pages, uh, but there are. It is loaded with information. It's not too difficult to follow. I'd say um, these are good books um, if you find yourself struggling with a specific area of Go. For instance, if you keep getting beat up in the corner, maybe you want to uh, pick up the Joseki book. Uh, if you're opening, if you're falling behind the opening, you probably want the opening book. Um, if you're attacking, your attack, you know, you launch attacks that just keep failing, or um, you keep uh, getting groups that are killed, or you keep, uh, you know, pushing your opponent in the corner and you can't figure out how to finish them off, uh, or you can't keep your groups connected, that type of stuff. You want to uh, check out the Tsuji book. Um, if you're this, um, almost all strong Go players have read this. Whenever I see uh, a Go interview and they're saying what books do you recommend or what books really changed your life uh, or um, you know that type of deal uh, almost invariably they'll say well when I read Attack and Defense the whole world of Go opened up to me now me myself I can't maybe that's why I'm uh, only a five few because this book though I mean it is loaded with useful information uh, it gives me really good theory I haven't finished it yet so give me some time but I still can't pull off some of the stuff in this book. Uh, I'm, maybe that's, you know, where my struggling has happened. But I mean, it is a it is a good book. I learned a lot. There's a lot of great techniques and um, strategy and theory, and I'm getting good ideas from this uh, book. But again, it's just killing me. On I just can't. I mean, I mean, it, a lot of it I, I read and I'm like, okay, that's all well and good, but my opponent never does what he's supposed to, like, I, I guess they're not supposed to, but I don't know. Anyway, um, this is a bit of an advanced book, uh, I think. I think this would be uh, probably a book around my level, 5, 6Q, something like that, maybe 6, 7, 8Q, you know, the single-digit Qs uh, for, for this book, and for this Tsuji book. A lot of these techniques are very difficult to apply in real games, and you, you know, say you learn a couple Tsuji. Well, if you go like 10, 15 games and you can't play it, then you kind of forget it again. So that's the thing. But th these Joseki books, uh, I started on this. This was actually the first book I started on. Um, if you see why I, where I did uh, Let's Learn Joseki, um, you know, my uh, Joseki series, uh, a lot of those patterns I got specifically from this book. That's why a lot of people are kind of critical of the patterns because they say, okay, well, it's outdated. Well, it's still... Uh, you know, it's still the writings of a, a professional player. Um, I believe this uh, Kosugi Kiyoshi um, very strong player. Let's see. I'll tell you his, uh, his rank. Eight Dawn. Eight Dawn Japanese. So, you know, now if he's still playing, he may be a, a Nine Dawn. So, um, Basically, 
I mean, I, don't, I won't rant about it anymore, but um, I highly recommend this uh, 38 base with your psychic book. And when you get stronger, at least get this attack and defense book. Uh, the life and death book is also very good, and the end game book is very good. Um, really, the whole series is a really good book. I would say if you had to buy seven go books and be stuck with them on a desert island for ten years to study, uh, these would be the ones to, uh, to do it, uh, in my opinion. These are very, very good books. And, uh, you know, I, I, I can't tell you, especially this Joseki book, once I started playing these Joseki and learning them, uh, I became like a champ in my go club for months. You know, I was just tearing it up. So, uh, you know, get, get a few of these patterns uh, to memory, and uh, I think it'll help your game quite a bit. It helped mine. Um, all the books have uh, around uh, close to 200 pages. This one's 190. Um, this one is 250. Uh, this one's also around 250. So um, I would say all of them are 200 or close to 200 pages. Uh, a little more, a little less, and just packed with information. Um, again, just for an example, look how like the very first diagram in this book is just loaded with stuff. Look at that. I mean, for a beginner, that's too much stuff, man. You can't, you can't figure out what's going on here. I mean, look at that. It's full. This is the first diagram in the whole book. Look at all that stuff. Now, even... Even like, you know, that's not bad. You can get an idea of that, but some of these are just like insane. Like, you gotta. So, I, can you kind of get an idea, stronger players, why this is very intimidating to uh, players who maybe aren't so strong? Like, right now, I could kind of follow along, but a year ago, this is way out of my head, totally blowing my mind, you know? Um, Again, there are seven of them, um, all very good books, and highly recommended. Uh, they're still on sale. I don't know about on sale, but you can still buy them online. And um, you can buy them as a set, too, and kind of save money, and I highly recommend them. They're good books. So that's about it. If you have any questions, uh, comments, criticisms about these books in specific, uh, you know, anything specific about them. Sorry, I, I couldn't get all seven of them. Um, but uh, they're good books. I could have done uh, an individual review on each of them, but I'm not about, uh, you know, just putting videos out there. I want to be sure they're full of some type of useful information. So um, if you have any uh, questions, comments, criticisms about these books or any of the other ones I reviewed, please uh, leave a comment. Uh, thanks for all your support through the years, and uh, hopefully uh, this is useful information for some of you guys. Later.